Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing really well. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy way to get the perfect wing eyeliner using the tape method. So this is probably something that you guys have seen me do several times in my makeup tutorials, but I don't always get the chance to show you like a full in-depth step-by-step tutorial on exactly how I do it, just to cut down and save time in the actual length of the full tutorial. So I figured today I would go ahead and put together a video for you guys specifically on how I do my wing liner using the tape method. Ever since I have found out about this method, it has literally been a lifesaver. I use it both on myself as well as on my clients. It makes getting that super sharp edge and super sharp wing so, so easy. So this is perfect for beginners, perfect even if you are like an expert at doing your wing. It's just like effortless. You don't even have to think about it. It's just super, super easy. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys for today's video. I really hope that you do enjoy. Before we get started, if you are new, hey, my name is Faye. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for today's video. I really hope that you enjoy the tips and tricks that I share with you on how to get the perfect wing eyeliner today. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any future uploads and also so that you can become part of my fam here on YouTube. We would absolutely love to have you. So without further ado, if you would like to see how to get the perfect wing eyeliner, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so as you can see, I am completely bare-faced. As you guys know, if you watch my makeup tutorials, I always do my eyes first. So this is what we're working with for right now. So, what you're going to need to create the perfect wing liner is of course some tape. I just use a basic clear scotch tape. You don't want to use anything too heavy duty because you don't want it to um, irritate your skin. So I just use very basic scotch tape. And what I'm going to do is just take off a piece about this long, you can see. And what I like to do is to place it on the back of my hand first, just to kind of get a little bit of that tackiness off of the tape first, so that when you apply it to your skin and you know later when you take it off, you're not going to be pulling off or irritating this area around your skin because this is a very sensitive area. Around your eyes is very sensitive. So I just apply it to the back of my hand first and then I'm going to go ahead and just take it off. And what you wanna do is you want to align the tape with your lower lash line. So essentially what you're doing is extending your lower lash line back to your brow, and that is the line that you want to create with your tape. So what I'm gonna do is I like to lay this uh, front part of the tape closest to my lash line here. I like to lay this part down first and try to get it as close to the lash line as possible. And I just kind of leave this part kind of hanging out there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now everybody's eye shape is different, so of course you just want to try to line it up as best to your personal eye shape as possible, but I do like for mine to be pretty much a straight line extension from my lower lash line. And this one is just a little bit crooked, so I'm just going to fix that. So once I've got the tape applied on my eye, what I like to do is just kind of take my nail and run it in a straight line to kind of see where the tape is supposed to be. So I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but my nail is a little bit higher than where the tape is right here. So I just like to run it along the side of my eye just to kind of get an idea of how high I need to bring the tape up before I actually lay it down on my skin. And then once I kind of get a pretty good idea, then I'll go ahead and just, you know, secure it down to the whole side of my eye. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So once I've got the tape secured down on both sides, I'm just gonna kinda check it out and make sure that they are both even, which they look pretty even to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my shadows really quickly and then I'll be right back to show you exactly how to get that perfect wing liner. Okay, so nothing too exciting happening on the eyes at this point. Um, didn't want to distract you guys too much with a ton of shadows happening. So we're going to go ahead and move on to eyeliner, and I'm going to be using two eyeliners to achieve my perfect wing liner look. Now, you don't have to use two uh, eyeliners. I just use two eyeliners because I'm extra like that. 
um, but if you just want to use one eyeliner I have done this look with just one eyeliner in the past and it does work but I'm going to be using the black up waterproof liquid liner in the shade black and then also the Kat Von D tattoo liner for touch-ups later on which you will see so I'm going to go in with the black up liner first and I cannot talk while I do my wing liner so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the uh, top of my lash line and then I'm going to create the wing using the side of this tape as my kind of guide so I'm gonna go ahead and create the uh, line on the top of my lash line and I like to do I like to work on both eyes at the same time Okay, so now that I've got the lines on both eyes, we can go ahead and start on the wing. And I did want to mention, you guys probably noticed, that when I was applying the line on my lash line, I like to start in the middle of my eye and kind of create a line going towards the outer corner. And then I will kind of tap the brush moving into the inner corner using very short strokes. And then I'll kind of start to connect those lines with longer strokes. I found that that's the best way to do it to keep from making mistakes just to kind of tap your liner all the way into the inner corner with very short strokes and then connect the dots with longer strokes once you kind of get a, somewhat of a guide down for your liner. So next I'm going to go ahead and apply my wing. Okay, so as you guys saw, I just created a straight line from the edge of this tape. And you can choose how far out you want to go. Um, it's really up to you. But I just created a straight line from the tape straight down to my lash line. And then I filled in this triangle shape that was right here. And then I just kind of connected everything and created a nice smooth line across my lash line. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the tape very gently and as you can see I have some pretty nice wing action happening on both eyes but I like more of a flick on my wing so that is where the Kat Von D liner in Trooper is going to come in because this liner is really really good just for helping you to get that really nice flick on that outer portion of the wing so I'm going to use this eyeliner to kind of just extend the wing just a little bit on the outer tail So last but not least is the cleanup. So you can probably see that I have a little bit, it's not like a perfect line and I'm really, really like a huge perfectionist when it comes to doing my makeup. So it's not a perfect line on this outer edge. So what I'm going to do is take this concealer from MAC. This is the Studio Finish Concealer. Mine is in the shade NC45. And I'm also going to take this flat definer brush from Sigma and I'm going to use this to really sharpen up and clean up that edge on the outer part of my wing. Alrighty guys, so that is going to bring us to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed hearing my tips and tricks on how I get the perfect wing eyeliner every single time. Hopefully it helped you out and just kind of taught you a couple of different things that you can add into your routine to help you to get the perfect wing liner and also to kind of just help to ease the stress and anxiety of doing winged liner whenever you do your makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any tips and tricks that have worked really well for you to help you to get your winged liner on fleek, feel free to leave those down below in the comment section to share with the rest of us so that we can all kind of 
take, pick and choose from different techniques to kind of figure out what works best for us as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.